10 million people. That is the size of the population in Los Angeles County, making it greater than 40 individual states. The Los Angeles County Jail System houses as many people as the state prison systems of Maryland and Washington. It is the largest jail system of 3,096 county jails in the U.S. Unlike prisons, these men and women are awaiting trial, pending transport to state prison, and completing shorter county jail sentences. Of course, there is a darker side with regular violence among inmates and corruption within the Sheriff's Department. Let's take a look at the Los Angeles County Jail System. We'll start with an overview of the facilities and statistics, then highlight some newsworthy stories and infamous inmates. Let's get into it. As of February 2023, there were 14,253 people in custody in Los Angeles County, the lowest in 10 years. In 2014, there was over 18,000 people in custody. At any given time, about 10% of those inmates are women. Keep in mind that the rated capacity of the entire jail system in Los Angeles is 12,406, putting the system way over capacity. The majority, 46%, are awaiting trial and cannot afford the bail or have a no bond hold. 10% have been sentenced and are waiting for their ride to state prison intake. The jail system can have a thousand inmates that have to appear in court on any given day. In total, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department had a whopping annual budget of $3.37 billion. About a quarter of that, $842.6 million, is reserved for the jail system. 55% of inmates are Hispanic, while 29% are black, with 11% being white. The most common age group in the jail system is from 26 years old to 34 years old. The average jail stay is 81 days, the majority of which is time being served by sentenced inmates. 57% of inmates are in jail for violent crimes, which is not surprising given the fact that many non-violent offenders were released during COVID. Given this large jail population, there are several major facilities that house offenders. We'll cover the three largest, Men's Central Jail, Twin Towers Correctional Facility, and North County Correctional Facility. The oldest county jail in Los Angeles is Men's Central Jail. Built in 1963 at a cost of $16.3 million, the facility started at over 500,000 square feet. There was a further expansion of the jail in 1976 to add another 350,000 square feet, which cost taxpayers an additional $35 million. The jail is old and falling apart, and in 2020, the Board of Supervisors voted to close it within 12 months, but the jail still remains open and overcrowded. There are no current plans on the horizon to close it. Former Sheriff Alex Villanueva said of the plan to close the jail, every gangster out there trying to shoot other gangsters and the occasional innocent victim. And those people eventually are going to make their way into jail. And there is no place to put them if you tear down men's central jail. Twin Towers Correctional Facility, AKA Twin Towers Jail, is a massive 1.5 million square foot complex. It is located on 10 acres just east of Chinatown. Construction was completed in 1995 at a cost of $373 million, but it didn't open until 1997 because they didn't have the $100 million in the budget to operate it. This seems like something you should plan for. During this time, they still had to have staff at the complex because they had a problem with vagrants breaking in and living in the unopened jail. Most people are trying to get out, not in. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, it is the largest single building prison complex. Soon after the jail opened, there was a huge problem with people escaping from the facility. Within the first four years, there was over 13 escapes, including a man charged with attempted murder. Kevin Pullum would use an employee badge with a photo of Eddie Murphy taped over the picture to simply walk out of the employee entrance. The concept of this jail was to provide maximum control of inmates at a minimum cost. While Men's Central Jail and Twin Towers are located next to each other, North County Correctional Facility is about 40 miles away and is part of the 2,620 acre Peter J. Pitches Detention Center. North County is the largest of the four facilities within Peter Pitches. This facility was built in 1990 and was designed to have a capacity of 3,700 inmates. It was intended to be the supermax jail for the system. If you are arrested in Los Angeles County, you will likely be transported to the Inmate Reception Center, which is operated at the Twin Towers Correctional Facility. 
The Inmate Reception Center processes 120,000 people a year. That means, on average, 328 people are arrested a day and taken to jail in Los Angeles County. About 847 employees work on processing them into the jail system. One of the biggest corruption scandals would hit LA County jails. You can't get any higher than the sheriff himself. It would result in the Los Angeles County Sheriff, Lee Baca, resigning in 2014. He would be tried and convicted of lying to the FBI in an attempt to cover up the corruption. Baca would spend two years in prison. It would all begin with an investigation by the ACLU. Massive violence would be committed by deputies on inmates. The chaplain at Men's Central Jail would recall one of the incidents. I was so shocked that despite the deputies seeing me watch them beat up an inmate, they continued to kick and beat him. It was like they didn't even care that there was a witness. A number of lower level staff were also charged and convicted. Many say the violence still continues to this day by staff on inmates. In 2022, the city of Los Angeles agreed to settle two lawsuits for a combined $11.5 million. One man was beaten so badly, he is likely in a vegetative state for the rest of his life. The victim was an elderly man who was killed by his cellmate, a known violent predator who shouldn't have had a cellmate. The other lawsuit involved a man who died because he was not provided with his inhaler during an asthma attack. He had informed staff that he needed his inhaler, but his request was denied. The ACLU said of the former sheriff, Villanueva is the greatest single threat to our civil liberties here in LA County. The amount of money that is paid out by taxpayers in LA County just baffles me. In another crazy story, in 1990, an inmate was acting as an informant for local law enforcement, but it was later found that he was lying about at least 12 cases. Some of the cases involved murders, which could have resulted in the death penalty. Law enforcement claimed they had no knowledge of his lies, but also failed to vet many of his claims. Before we move on to infamous inmates that have spent time within the LA County Jail system, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. With the jail system serving Los Angeles, which also includes Hollywood, many famous stars have served time in these facilities. From Chris Brown and Todd Bridges to Sean Penn and Harvey Weinstein, there are a couple that really stand out. Paris Hilton would serve two separate stints in jail and controversy would surround it every step of the way. Hilton was sentenced to 45 days in jail in 2007 due to a probation violation. She would begin her jail term on June 3, 2007. Four days later, Sheriff Lee Baca would release her on home detention due to an unspecified medical issue. This would spark outrage as it was seen she was getting special treatment. She was brought back into court and sent back to jail by the judge. She would spend five days at Twin Towers Correctional Facility before being moved to Century Regional Detention Facility and was released on June 26th, ending this made-for-TV drama. Iron Man was in and out of LA County jails throughout the 90s and early 2000s. Robert Downey Jr. was arrested numerous times for drug charges. In 1997, he spent six months in Men's Central Jail and again in 1999, before he was sent off to the California State Prison System to serve a three-year sentence. This wouldn't be the last time he would be in the LA County Jail System. In April 2001, he would again be arrested, but was released a few hours later. Downey would finally get sober and reach the top of his field. The first Iron Man grossed $585 million. Although Downey had all the resources at his disposal to get sober, his story should serve as an inspiration to those struggling with addiction. This was a chasing crime profile of the Los Angeles County Jail System. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. As always, see you next time.